Hey there, my name is uh, Coach Ben, and today I'm going to show you how to make an explore and find activity in Seesaw. That's what I like to call them. Now, this is uh, a little bit more of an advanced skill, and I'm going to show you some tools uh, that you can use to be able to complete this, um, mainly Google Slides and then an, uh, a website called Lunapic. And I'm going to show you how I do this. Um, and I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to show you what I mean by an explore and find, explore and read. There's a few different names. Basically what it is, is this is activity where, look, I can move this around right here and I can uh, find, explore and find these different words or numbers. This is what I call an explore and read. Basically what I've done is I just created a, a background, right? There's my background and then a foreground. Now here's the tricky part. In my foreground, it's just an image, but specifically this image has a hole in it. And, and it's fairly simple. The only real complicated part of it is actually making a hole in the image in the foreground, right? You can see here's the hole. There's about how, uh, if they were the same size, that's about how big it was. But I've actually just done the hole and then expanded this way out where I drag and I expand. So basically this is more or less an ex uh, uh, explore and find and explore and read activity. So again, this is a little bit more advanced, but I'm going to make an assumption by the time you're watching this video. And if you need to pause, that's fine. Basically in Google Slides, I created two things. I created a background and I created a foreground, right? My, my background is where you can see my images are. My foreground, I have this little rocket. I've also actually um, done right here a, uh, a Seesaw activity, which I've kind of uh, pre-planned it a little bit. And so here's what I'm going to do uh, with this. I'm going to show you uh, here right here in Google Slides is I've just made a background and I have uh, myself in here and I have these different dominoes and numbers. And these are the things that the kids are going to be able to find. On this other slide here, I have what I like to call my foreground. And in you can in here you can see I have my foreground, maybe make that a little bit bigger, and it's a rocket in here. Now you can download them um, if you want to, and that's one way I can get them up to Seesaw. But honestly, I find that if I take a screenshot um, of them, I find sometimes they're just a little bit extra more crisp than just simply downloading it. And so I'm gonna take a screenshot of this slide, Again, there's some advanced skills here and a screenshot of this sl slide. And uh, that way, I think I, it gives me a little bit higher resolution. All right, so I, I have my foreground, I have my background, right? So I'm going to come here and I'm going to go to my Seesaw activity. And I've already kind of got this ready. I've already put the instructions in here. And I'm going to edit the activity. And you can see I'm going to add a template. Again, I, uh, anytime you need to pause and watch it again, I'm adding a template to a pre-created uh, activity. Um, there's again a, a few skills here, and again, not for the not for the faint of heart. So I'm going to add a background, and I just dragged it up there. Oops, that's not the, actually the one I wanted to do. I take my mind now. I change my mind. Sorry. I need to select it from the computer, and it's a screenshot. And sometimes my screenshots take a minute, and it's this one. If I'm on a Mac, I can hit the uh, space bar to get a little preview there. Then I'm going to drop that in there and hit the check and bam, I got my background. It's looking uh, fairly uh, clear and I like it. So now I'm going to go to this website called Lunapic. And you can see I actually was playing around with it a little bit earlier. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start over here. And so I've gone to Lunapic and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a file. I'm going to choose my file. So I'm going to upload the screenshot again I took of what we called the foreground. That was the one where I put the little rocket and that's going to be my hole. It doesn't necessarily have to be a rocket. It could be a magnifying glass. It could be anything that you want to put a hole in. You don't have to do anything fancy. Um, you could just simply uh, have a foreground with, with a, a black foreground and just punch a hole in it. So here you can see I'm in Lunapic again. And what I want to do is what? I want to do crop. And I can see this is a nice big picture, so it's not going to get uh, pixelated if I resize it. So I'm going to go to crop. And even then, I have one more step. It's advanced, advanced crop. Again, in Lunapic, I am uploaded my image. I'm cropping my image. I'm advanced cropping. Rewind and stop this as much as you need to. All right, so I think about what shape is this? Well, right now it says rectangle. I don't want a rectangle. I want a circle. So I'm going to click on circle and I'm going to come in and I'm just going to do my best right here to make a little circle in there. Okay, if I want to, I could just click off it and I can do it again if I don't like my circle. 
All right. That looks pretty good. And then I can always try to cut out, right? I need to cut it out. And it will actually give me a chance if I don't like how I did it to do it again. But I feel like that's pretty good. All right. So now all I'm going to do is right click this image. And see where it says here, copy image. I'm just going to right click it and copy it. And then I'm going to go back to my Seesaw activity and I'm going to hit Control or Command V. And I'm going to paste it. Now, you can see here, the first thing I need to do is kind of stretch it out. And it is going to be a little pixelated, but I'm okay. And as you can see, right now my hole isn't big enough. So I'm going to actually take this and I'm going to shove it all the way up in the corner, my foreground, and I'm going to stretch it out and let go. And then I'm going to check my hole, right? I think I need to make it a little bigger again. It's a little pixelated, but I'm okay with that. Um, you could always change the size if I wanted to make my rocket a little bit bigger and then maybe it will be a little less pixelated. But let's see here. Again, lots of dragon. That looks pretty good. And so now you can see, let me see. Can I see that? Yep, there's my four. Let's look for one of the dominoes here and you use the hand really for this activity. Oh, yep, that looks just about perfect. Maybe just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit bigger. Again, shifting it up, dragging from the corner. Will some of my students delete this? Yes. Is there a way I can lock any of this? No. But this is more or less the way you can do it. And then I just leave it there. Now, if you saw my last one had this little box here. And all, all I literally did is just put a text box. And I could put uh, use the hand to explore and find, uh, explore, let's see, comma, find and read numbers. And I can put that in the instructions too, but I'm going to kind of uh, put this up here and I'm going to kind of leave it tucked over to the side here. I'm going to maybe make it, what color do I want it? You know what? I'm going to change it to this style. I think this is a little better and my favorite color purple. And then all I'm going to literally do is lock it there. So now watch, I can get my hand and I can still move this around. Am I covering up any? I don't think I'm covering up any. Yep, there you go. So that's basically how you uh, make the explore, uh, uh, the, the explore and find or the find and read or the, you know, however you want to phrase it. And again, so just as a quick review, I have my background, right? I have my foreground. Um, this could be a magnifying glass. This could just be, I could just push, punch a hole in this. You know, a magnifying glass um, would be good. Like just look for like, I'm going to go to uh, insert, search the web and I could do like, a magnifying glass, if I spell it right, transparent, and I just add that word transparent. Then you can see I just kind of drag it in there and if it's a transparent, I could do the same thing with that magnifying glass and punch a hole in there, right? So I have my background in Google Slides, I have my foreground in Google Slides, right? I had my Seesaw activity already created and you can see here right now, I just got to save it. I had my Seesaw activity already created and um, then I went to, again, Lunapic. What did in Lunapic I did? I uploaded an image, just kind of running through the whole thing. I uploaded my image and I'm just gonna choose uh, my file, maybe a little smaller file for this one so you can just see it'll upload a little quicker. I uploaded my image, right? And you can see, I don't wanna, I like the, you notice the other one was a lot bigger. That's why I did the screenshot because it covered a lot more of my screen. I could always change the size of my Google slide too, but I clicked on crop, right? And then I clicked on advanced crop and then I did my circle and I did my little crop here, right? I did a cutout and then again, right click, copy it, paste it in your Seesaw activity and stretch it out. Um, so hopefully that helps you. Hopefully you feel a little bit better uh, now being able to kind of do that magnifying glass effect. I'm sorry for those of you that were asking for this video for a while. Um, hopefully it helps. If you go to coachben.org, again, that's www.coachben.org, right? Coachben.org. You can find a lot of other videos and resources there that will hopefully help you with that. I got lots of different Seesaw activities. I got some other guides on some, how to do some stuff. So hopefully that helps you. Hopefully um, you feel better about doing this. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.